hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty YouTuber that is trying to have a long no buy. And I do excuse my voice first of all. I'm on my way out of a cold so I sound a little bit not like my usual self. But I do want to film a video so that's what I'm doing. And today I'm going to rank 10 of my neutral palettes. And I've seen a lot of people do this and I think it's so fun that some of my like color loving friends are talking more about neutral palettes. I don't know if it is like something that is going on that people do like neutral palettes or if it's just that people have always liked them but they want to talk about them now because it's more okay maybe to... I don't know but it feels like neutral palettes has really been a thing the latest. So I've picked out 10 palettes and I guess that I have some more palettes that are kind of neutral and I don't know if you would consider all these as neutral. Some of them have a pop of color but I was like okay if they have one or two pop of colors I'm going to take them in this one and some are leaning more orange and some maybe more pink but yeah I am going to go through these 10 palettes and I hope that you will like this. So first off I have on the last place is the Kaleidos Futurism Sashimi City. And it looks like this. Mine was a little beat up when it came. I think with this palette, this one and the Lunar Lavender didn't have the same amazing payoff as their other Futurism palettes and I think if it would have had that I think I would have liked it more but I don't think this is so fun I don't think it's a bad palette but it's not like a neutral palette that I, that, that, that I take out and play with and like some of these colors like this one and this one they aren't like super different and I feel like if you're going to do a neutral palette with only six shade I wished there were more variation but yeah I just don't like this palette that much I got this palette in PR I've, I would have bought it if I didn't because I did buy everything from Lethal no Kaleidos at the time but it's not bad, but I don't think it's like super good. The next one is a palette that I want to use more, but like I don't know what to use it, uh, when to use it and how. And I guess that that is why it's coming on such a low place. And it's the Orb of Light from Black Moon Cosmetics. This palette looks like this and I do like like this red and uh, yeah like these three colors but then I I don't know like what to do I want something more in this the shades are good nothing to complain about and if you are going to have one neutral palette maybe this is good but for me I don't know it's not that special that I take it out maybe I should scooch a little bit it's not that special that I take it out and that I really really want to play with it and I just struggle a little bit maybe I should more use this as a complementary palette but yeah it's nothing wrong with the shades but I just don't like that much the next one is the cutie palette nude from Nabla and this was one of their first cutie palettes and I like this but I wish there were more like mattes. I have done a couple of looks with this palette. I have had at least one. I had one cutie week where I used all the cutie palettes from Mabla. I've done a first impression and I don't know if I have done because I have two theme weeks from Nabla. I don't know. Uh, but I wish that this had more mattes you can use some of these as mattes even though they aren't but uh, I think this is missing something I do like it 
Is it my favorite cutie palette? No. Do I hate it? No. Would I recommend it? If you want the colors, but they are more fun cutie palettes than this. So, yeah, it's good, but they have done better. The next one I took is the California Love from Colourpop. And I think, like, this is an orange neutral palette, and I do love orange eyeshadow, but it's something I haven't used as much at all. But it's something like, I don't get so inspired with this. I don't know what it is because I think it's a good mix of matte shadows and shimmers. And, and maybe it's because it's missing some dark shadows. Like this is dark, but more than that, maybe not. So I thought that I was going to love this so much more. I bought this together with another palette that is coming higher up in the ranking. And I thought that I was going to love this more than the other, but no. I think it's missing maybe some depth to it. I think that is the problem. And like, I don't know what this shade is doing in here. I think this, because it's kind of warm, this palette, but I don't know what this is doing here. But yeah, I, I thought I was going to love this so much. The next one is the other neutral palette, cutie palette from Nobla, and it's Analog. And this is like the darker version of the nude palette. And here I think it's better. It's two mattes, this one and this one. And it's a really deep shade and it's some really nice shimmers in this one. So I do really like this more than the other. The only thing I feel about this is I don't know how many looks I can get out of it. I think though it's a good mix for being a six pen palette. And I think this would be good as maybe complimentary and I do have hair. I think this is good if you want to use mattes, no, <laughs> neutral, but neutral shades, but you want something darker, I think it's good. So yeah, I would recommend this more if you want a neutral nudish palette from Nabla and the cute one, I think you should go with this one and not the nude one. Next up is a palette that I have been liking more and more, <laughs> and it's the Killer Pearl. I think this is discontinued, it's from Menardry. It looks like this. I had a Menardry week and I used this, and I was like, I don't like this palette. Do I really want to use it? But I'm doing a Menardry week, but I love the look that I get out of it. Um, <laughs> this shade. I don't know what it's doing here. I think it would have been better without it. So, yeah, I don't know. But this is actually good. <laughs> I do like it a little bit more every time I use it. I think it's a good mix with like really dark shadows. Like this is really dark and this is dark and this is darker. And then like this shade is really, really nice. I had it as an inner corner highlight. Is it called an inner corner highlight even though it's not shimmery? I don't know. And it looked really, really good. And I think I just need to use this more and more and more. And I think I would like it more and more. And I do like it more every time I use it. I am the one of the persons that doesn't like... I don't like the name of this. And I don't like the front of it. Even though I like lions, I do love animals. And this is place number five. It made its top five. The next one is this Greek goddess from Lunar Beauty. I think this was their second palette. It looks like this. Do you see anything? It has a blue, but I, this is a neutral palette. And this is actually really, really good. It has some really like dark shade. Like this is so, so dark. And I think it's this one that is really dark, even though it might not look like super dark. And the shimmers are really good. And I just think this is a good palette. I think this is discontinued. I think I bought it when it was like 30 or 40% off at Beauty Bay. I think they sold it out then. 
but this is really good and I think that this wasn't like hyped at all I think first they came out with Life's a Drag then this one then I think it was the Moon Spell that was really really hyped but yeah I do think this is a really good palette and I uh, think it would be more hyped than it actually is. So now we're in top 3. I guess that you all know which palette is going to be in top for me. But on the third place I have the Sweet Talk from Colourpop. And this was the one that I ordered together with the California Love. This is a pinkish neutral palette. And I do actually really really like this. I think it was last summer I used this uh, kind of a lot. And pink it's not usually the thing I go for when I'm going for neutral, I more go like this, the orange way. But this one is really really good and I know that people rave about this so much. And when I was on Colourpop I was like okay I'm buying it. And I tried it and I was like oh this is what everybody's talking about because this is amazing. I don't like though this is a pressed glitter. I don't know why. Colourpop keeps doing this. I think it's a stupid thing to do. But other than that, this is a really good palette. It's one of Colourpop's really good forma. And yeah, this is my top three neutral palette. I didn't thought that. I know that I really, really do like it. But when I was picking out all my neutral palettes, I was like, this is going to rank pretty high. And yeah, place number three. In place number two is the palette that I have on my eyes today. It's the Soft Glam palette. This for was for a very very long time my favorite neutral palette and also my favorite palette in my collection. It looks like this. This is an amazing formula on this one. This is creamy. This is really good color payoff and it's just so easy to work with and I do love the mix, I do love, like I have this mulberry on here, it's really dark and really nice. It's also a black and this color story is amazing and the shimmers is amazing. I have this bronze on today, you see this amazingness. And I just think that this is such a good palette and I think that this is the best palette that Anastasia have ever done. I do really love it. I don't though like this velour. Mine is though kind of clean because I've always had it in my drawer because I know that it's going to be filled with cat hair if it wasn't. But yeah, this is the second best neutral palette I have in my collection. And I think that we can all say together which one is my absolute favorite neutral palette that I have in my collection. Of course, it's the side-by-side -side from Nabla. This is like my favorite palette that I do own. I love this one. Um, I haven't done like many dedicated videos. It's a little bit big, I don't know how to hold it. Dedicated videos to this. I have used it in some Get Red With Me's. I think I have done two live streams on Instagram. I think I used this one both of the times. I love this. I do recommend this so so much. It's an amazing formula. You can do so many different looks with this. It is a little bit like the shimmers. Some of they are more like a topper shade and some are more yeah, like this I have on today. But just use a glitter primer and everything is going to be super super nice. I have used this so much and this is what I use nine out of ten times when I'm going out to eat or I just want to have a really easy look. I think my favorite look with this palette, I don't know what that is. I do love this ray of light. I think that is the shimmer that I've used the most. I also do love this um, magic moment. But yeah, Ray of Light is my favorite and I usually use like Half Time Beauty Mark and Ray of Light. And it's an amazing look. I love it. 
I have done it so many times. I haven't used like these shades down here that much, but it is, I think, the best palette that I have in my collection. I do really, really love it. I'm so happy that I bought it and I think that people should rave about this because it is an amazing neutral palette and it's, it is an amazing palette overall. It's so good, you can do so many looks with it and I do really love it. Maybe I should use it more on camera. I don't know if you want to see it, but I do love it. That was the ranking of my 10 neutral palettes. I guess like maybe an Natasha Denona retro palette could go as a more neutral palette. And I also think like the Nomad from Uvia's um, Place. But yeah, these are the 10 palettes that I picked and I do hope that you liked this video. And I think it was Annette that I saw. She talked about her neutral palettes and she was like, I never thought I was going to do this and I never thought it too. And yeah, I guess that, that was all for this video. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!